what is a spread? What's a spread fee? All right, so every time you make a trade on any exchange, this happens on all the exchanges, happens on eToro too, because it's an exchange. When you buy something, you pay a spread fee, okay? So this is how, part of how these people make their money, how eToro makes its money. So what is it? All right, so let's say I go to, uh, I'm gonna go to a virtual portfolio because all my money's tied up. I can show you on a virtual. So I go to trade markets. And let's say I go, I'm looking for Apple. I want to buy Apple, all right? All right, so here's Apple. So at the moment we can see that the price of Apple is 145.44. The markets have just opened. So 145.44, so that's the price that everyone sees, you know, that's the actual price. Let's say I go to trade it. So I click the trade button and here we've got sell and we've got buy at the top. I'm on buy. If I buy it, it's at 145.62, 145.71, all right? The actual price, 0.55, okay, wait, all right, so 0 0.63, 0 0.75. See that difference? So the spread fee is the difference between the price that it's actually at on the market and how much I have to buy it from for from eToro. So I, uh, it costs 145.55, and I buy it for 145.74. That little 14, 14 pips, it's 14 little points, they are the money that eToro takes. They're the spread fee it takes when I open this trade. So when you open a trade on eToro, you'll notice that you, you, you buy a stock, and the second you buy it, you're already losing money. You're losing like a little bit. It depends what you buy and how much you buy, because um, it works as a percentage. But you're already losing money. So that's because of the spread fee. The second you open your new trade, this happens when you buy or when you sell, by the way. So when I sell, look, the buy price. Buy price is there. Watch when I click sell. Boom, see it change? Buy, sell, buy, sell. So here, um, we're not talking about selling like you close a trade. Let's say you have Apple open, you, you've been trading for a while and you wanna take your profits and sell it. That's called closing a trade, okay? <clears throat> this version of sell is different. This is when you want to make money betting that the stock will go down. It's called a short, a short position. So that's what we mean here by selling. Not closing a trade, but actually selling it. So I buy it, I have to pay that much. I wanna sell it, I'm betting money that it will go down and I'll make money as it goes down. Pay a different price, it happens both ways. No matter which way you open the trade, if you're on the buy side or the sell side, they're gonna charge you this little bit amount, amount of money. And when you open your trade, when you say open trade, you click an open trade, like I'll do it now. I'll buy Apple. I'm going to buy just $100 worth of Apple. I'm going to do it with no leverage. All right. So I open that trade. Let's go to my portfolio. Let's find Apple. Okay. Buy Apple. Open it. See? I'm minus seven. It's a little bit. That's the spread fee. Always happens. Every trade they charge the spread fee. That's how they make money. So how do we find out what these spread fees are? So uh, let's go to, uh, let's type here, fees. So you can look and you can find out all of the fees. The spreads and fees on currencies, indices, commodities, stocks. Let's find apples. So here we are, I've gone to stocks. Minimal spread is eight pips, okay? A pip is the smallest amount a market can move, okay? Uh, percentage index point or something. I can't remember what pip stands for. It's the smallest amount it can move. So um, it's different. Look, alphabet, 27 pips is the spread. Uh, here, Amazon, 58. Thanks, Amazon, or oh, thanks, eToro. But every time you, you open a trade, um, you're gonna get charged these, these fees. It happens with all the exchanges. eToros are actually quite high, um, but there we are. Uh, so that's what a spread fee is. And they change, they all change. A quick thing, what I, f I forgot to say, how do these spreads affect how you trade? All right, so let's say you're manually trading. You haven't done the sensible thing and just copy traded someone who's a genius, decided to manually trade yourself. So for instance, I used to try and do day trading. You don't want to try and do day trading because it's been taken over by computerized algorithms, realistically. A human can trade, you know, once every minute or something or 10 seconds. The algorithms, which are these little computer programs written by the nasty big banks or whatever, they can make 14, 15,000 trades a second. So day trading for the last seven years has been kind of impossible. So 
I was trying to day trade though, and also swing trade. So generally when a stock moves, it doesn't move in a straight line upwards. Yay! It'll go like this, okay? So I used to try and buy the stock, and when it gets there, I think it's gonna go down. So I sell it, and then I open a sell order so I can make money as it's going down, and I close that trade as well, and I buy again. So I tried to make money on all of these as it goes up and down. The problem is that every time I opened a trade, I'd notice that you have uh, the spread fee. So let's say it goes from here to here, the price. I buy it here, and I'm gonna sell it there. This bit is all me making back the spread fee to give to eToro. That little bit is mine. Didn't work out. Uh, it's a little bit frightening doing that. So that's something you have to notice about spread fees. When you open a trade, uh, you're gonna be charged them. Uh, obviously it's in eToro's interest that we all make lots and lots of short trades because then they make lots and lots of spread fees. Um, but short trading doesn't work so much. Day trading doesn't work really. It's just nearly impossible for the last seven years because of these algorithms. So we've moved more and more towards longer term, medium term and long term trades, you know, a few weeks even is classed as longer term, or months or years or whatever. Um, but there are these spread fees. There's also overnight fees, which I'll, I'll tell you about later. They're different.